Hi there, um, I'm Cameron Young with the Center for Snake Conservation. I just have a quick lesson about snake eyes. And um, snakes are unique organisms in that they don't have eyelids or movable eyelids, but they do have a, a, a scale, a clear scale that covers their eyes. And I like to think of them as, as like swim goggles that you would put over your eyes to keep you from getting dirt, water, or anything else in your eyes. And with a snake though, it has to be replaced because if you scratch those up, pushing through the soil, um, just being, just your, your daily life um, is going to ruin those things and, and, and you, want, you want to be able to see so what they do is they when they shed their skin they, they will shed that eye scale or, or replace their swim goggles and it comes off with one and one big piece of the skin. Now unfortunately with this ball python that did not happen. The, the, eye, the eye scales, um, the, the scutes over the eyes, the clear scute over the eye is still there. Um, and I'm going to show you how to remove them. Now the snake's been been soaking in water for the past hour or so to kind of soften that up. And now one thing I really hate doing with snakes, one is to have this problem, and it's entirely my fault. In the wild, the snake has the opportunity to go wherever it wants and to do and, and to, to find the right humidity. In captivity, unfortunately, that that it's on me um, or or it, whoever its caretaker is to make sure that it has that opportunity. Now, what I'll, another thing I don't like to ever doing with snakes, and I don't do this with any snakes unless it's in a situation like this, is grab it behind its head. Um, just like you, you don't want to be grabbed behind the head. And if you watch what happens when I do grab the hunt behind this net, all immediately, I'm just gently grabbing the snake, immediately it's struggling. And that's something that I don't want, but well, I mean, if you watch it, just struggles. Now this is a ball python. They're from, from Africa, and they're one of the most Pretty, a pretty pretty neat snake um, in terms of their defensive behaviors. They'll ball up and hide their head in the, in the middle of that so that a predator can't get to their head. But right now, I'm go what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this, this, this eye covering that's here and get it off its head. And now sometimes you have to use a little pair of tweezers, but you don't want to damage the eye. And now, as you can tell, boy, I just cannot, do not like holding a snake by its head. Oh, they just, they just don't like it. And it's just, I just never feel comfortable of it. And it, it makes them, it makes them, even a wild snake that, that's going to bite me, I'd rather just be bitten by the snake than, than to, to grab it by the head. But you do need, it is important to get these, these, these scales off. And look right there, I just did it with my finger. I didn't even need the tweezers. And right there, you can see, I can just peel it right off. Now look at there. That's one of the ice on the scales that covers the eye. Now, let's see if we can do it on the other side. Here, let's see if we can not use the tweezers, just kind of, and this is what so, where, where soaking the snake helps. And just kind of rub it and push. Oh, there it comes. And once I get that off, perfect. Oh, dropped it, but there's the other eye scale, the, the clear scale that covers the eyes. Now the snake, it, it, they've been removed. The snake is okay and it's going to shed normally next time. And it's real important to, to, to uh, have a different humidity gradient in the snake's enclosure if you're keeping captive snakes so that they can, can regulate this on their own. And I feel horrible that the snake didn't have a good shed, but um, the right, I did the right thing here, and I actually I soaked it just long enough that I can do it with my fingers, and it just came right off. So that's the that just little pointer about snake eyes. And hopefully you found this interesting, and we'll talk to you later about more snakes, conservation through education.